All right, Dave here with another exciting tutorial, and today I want to talk about how to swap out topology in ZBrush. Okay, so I'm assuming you have topology already done, and um, if we look here, I can see that this guy, he's dynameshed, he's got really bad topology, and um, but, he, but I put some scales on to kind of represent okay high resolution detail because I feel like I want to make sure that that comes across that that comes through the translation okay obviously this is just a demo head here and I'm just kind of illustrating a concept but let's say if you exported this guy out and you retopologize them okay like this and this guy's got nice clean edge loops I can see here he's got nice edge loops around the eyes he's got um, edge loops around the mouth and let's say this is um, production ready, this is for animation, this is going to be good for rigging. And if you have questions about how to do that, um, that's called retopology. Go ahead and click on the link for the retopology video. I can I show you step by step exactly how to do that. But this is more about how to translate that retopologized mesh back to ZBrush, okay, without losing any detail. So, um, okay, great. So again, here he is, but the good topology lives in Maya. So how am I gonna get that in here? Well, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna go to Subtool, and I can see that there he is. These are his eyes, but I really only care about this. And um, this one's the Dynameshed kind of bad geometry. I'm gonna go ahead and import him, the good one, in here. And to do that, I'm gonna go down here to um, append, and I'm going to just append a star, okay? And now if I select the star, now I can import, and I'm going to go ahead and import the um, good UVs, okay? There it is, and I can see that they're sitting on top of one another. So again, I'm going to just push this up by using the up arrow. Here's the good UVs, and then here's the one with all the detail. And if I look at the good UVs, and if I hide this one, I can see that the problem with the good UVs is it doesn't have all the detail because it's not going to be able to support that detail because there's limited topology. So how do I get this detail onto the good UVs? Well, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go to the demo head, and I can see that that's 1.9 million polys. So I'm going to think about shrink wrapping this one to the one with all the detail. And I can see that this one only has 3,500 polys. So that means that there's not enough detail to shrink wrap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to geometry. I'm going to hit divide. And I'm looking right there. I'm going to hit divide another time, another time, another time. OK, um, maybe one more time, 3.6. OK, that's more than enough information. I can see that I'm going to have, I can see this, this potential geometry that's going to be able to shrink wrap to the other one okay now if I come here I've got this one that has all the detail this one that has the good topology and all the subdivisions I'm gonna go ahead and turn both these eyeballs on and I'm going to uh, select this one but have this one visible and only that one visible and I usually put it on top of the other one and now here's the one with the good UVs then I'm gonna come down here to project and I'm going to say project all. And what that's going to do is going to, again, shrink wrap the one with the good UVs onto the one, think of it as being magnetized to the one with the good, or all the detail. And then what's going to happen is that we're not going to need the one with the good detail. We could just throw that one away. But then we should have not only one that has good topology, but it's going to have all its subdivision levels. Because remember, we had to divide up several times to allow it to have enough divisions to support that detail. So I can see at the top here, this is the progress bar. And I can see that this is going across here. And when it gets all the way to the end, it'll be done. Now, the more subdivisions that you have on your model, the longer this process is going to take. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And then when we come back, it'll be magically done. Okay, so that only took a few more seconds, I promise, but I feel like um, I don't want you to waste any of your time here. So now, if we look at this, it looks kind of weird because I feel like it looks like they're sitting on top of one another. 
Uh, so I'm going to hide the original. And this is the one actually with the good topology. And now, if I come down here to geometry, if I move my subdivision slider, it'll go back down. And this will be exactly what it was in Maya. You can see with the good topology. And then I can bounce up. And you can see that it's going to have all the detail. Okay, just like the original. So the goal is that it does look exactly like our, you know, kind of our high resolution one, but it again has the good topology. So at this point, I could probably throw this one away. Um, maybe I wouldn't throw it away yet, just in case I realize if there's some problem or something. But, um, and then I could try reprojecting again. But I feel like I think this is actually looking pretty good. Now, one word of caution is that you may get some problems. So let's say if on the new one, um, I don't know, the ear you had so much kind of detail that it that the projection quite didn't get there, it didn't work. Well, what I would suggest in that case is going down to the projection settings. So let me see. If we go back down here, um, yeah, project. Um, I would play with this, the, the distance. That's how far it's going to look for something to match to. Um, and as long as you have something like these scales, that it's not really a far distance, um, it'll be fine. But if you have something a little bit more extreme, you might need to kind of play with this distance. Um, and if that still doesn't solve it, what I would say is, hey, projection, if you can get me 90% of the way there, that's good. I realize I may have to sculpt some things again by hand. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but I feel like um, it's better than having to sculpt the whole thing over. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you know anyone that would be, you know, could use this, make sure that you share this with them. And also um, like, subscribe. I've got videos like this every week for all your 3D needs.